Peter, not the dog. This is something dog owners will mindlessly repeat until their dog bites someone. Followed to its natural conclusion, this would result in prison sentences and massive fines at a minimum every time one of these beasts attacks a person in a completely unprovoked way. But it is mostly parroted in order to protect attacking dogs. Back in the day, any dog that drew blood was put down. No questions asked. These days, dog nutter owners and shelter workers will knowingly rehome violent dogs. It's purely political. It is because of what animal uncontrol has called canine supremacy. At the end of the day, most of us don't care why an entity behaves badly. We would rather not have them around us or our loved ones. But dogs seem to be some strange exception. They appear to have some sacrosanct status in society. This is because many people are inexplicably enamored with these killers. And what about a stray dog that attacks unprovoked, as dogs tend to? Who or what are we supposed to blame then? Consider the way people blindly defend dogs that do horrific things. And let's be very clear. Generally, these people don't defend animals, only dogs. They often dub themselves animal lovers and start going on about how there is something wrong with us for hating animals. But we are only talking about dogs. When, on rare occasion, a bear or mountain lion is spotted in a residential neighborhood, the response is that of concern and fear. Suddenly, they have the appropriate reaction to a dangerous animal. Although, it should be noted that many wild animals are not going to be attacking us on sight, the way dogs that find themselves at home in our cities do. Natural animals dislike the clamor and craziness of a modern city. Dogs don't seem to be bothered by noise or human presence. It would be strange indeed if they were bothered by noise considering how much of it they produce.